So these are my favorite colorways of each individual model. Starting from one all the way up to the seven. So we're gonna begin with number one, the Metcon one. This is my favorite one. It's a uh, total orange European exclusive. I say total orange, I'm not actually sure which color orange it is. I've not looked into it properly. Colorway was released 2015 was only released in either the UK or Europe. I remember it being on Night Talk and people were clamoring after these in the States because they couldn't get them over there. I've seen pairs of these go on Poshmark for like $400. Um, so a highly sought after model. Really muted colorways like a taupe upper with a gray background and the shock of the orange on the laces. Most people would go for the breads, but for me, this one is just a personal pair that I really, really love. So the Metcon 2 is where it really started for me. It seemed to be the golden years of the Metcon colorways. They were releasing amps and, and special colorways regularly. It's just where the hype started to build with the shoe. It was a tough choice for me which one I'd go for, to be honest. Blue Monday was up there, released in 2015, I think, although I may get corrected on that. It was seen on the feet of Mr. Noah Olsen at Warapalooza and then released soon after. Obviously you've got the amp laces, the heel clip has got some form of kind of like pattern on the end which will show up in the light which is quite sick. So that was up there. The other one was the heat resistant pair, the one that changes colour, Metcon 2. It's got this baby blue um, sole and then the upper pre-reacted is obviously dark but when you apply heat to it, change colour to reds and yellows. Quite a vibrant colourway, really good, really good, although over in the UK didn't really see much colour change because it's so cold. The pre-shots which came out from Vietnam made it pre-reactive so everyone thought it was going to be that release colourway. It wasn't until it was uh, cooled down that you'd see this upper in the blue and then obviously with the heat it would change up. Quite understated, not many people know about these ones so quite limited numbers. If you've still got these, well done. Then you have the brightest colourway, these molten strongest steel pack came with two other colourways. This being the brightest, one being silver, and the other one being like a purple colour. That was supposed to represent the different stages of uh, steel being made. Only released in the States, unfortunately. I was lucky enough to get a pair of these sent over. Bright crimson orange, which we've seen in other shoes since then, uh, with the amp laces, but the sole. First time, I believe, we saw a general release of the camo sole, unless it was maybe the black and white pair, but still uh, very bright. Not something I wear that much, just for the fact that it clashes with my hair. Great shoe, very limited. But this is my favorite one. Favorite Metcon 2 is the Stone Amp, which was released along with a female version. The female version had like pink, heel clip. This is just so clean, very muted. The sole is marbled, flacky, uh, shivery finish to represent marble, and the upper row is obviously stone. It unfortunately squeaks like hell, and most Metcon 2s do. Great, great callway, even though it did squeak. But this, for me, top notch. Okay, number three, the third model of Metcon. For me, not my favorite shoe. Uh, aesthetically, the tooling had changed, so it looked very different to the first two more streamlined. I didn't get on with the shoe that much. I did have a lot, but I didn't keep hold of them. It just didn't really stick with me. I wasn't very keen on them, so I decided to obviously pass them on. Um, but one I wouldn't ever get rid of is the OG Vault collaboration with Wit. The old colorway, which was released in the Metcon 1, it has a Vault lower, a uh, gray upper, a uh, darker rear quarter. But it does have Whip branding, which was the first time they collaborated with Nike. And they had a great relationship. Whip branding there on the inner sole, which is obviously worn off again. I wear my pairs. Also came with a cool dog tag and a card. Due to my relationship with Whip and Dan and Sam, guys who built it up from the ground about the same time I did my account. This pair, very, very uh, special to me. So thank you to the boys for helping me out, lining me up with one of these. Yeah, great pair. It is quite uh, sentimental to me. So that's my third pick. So the fourth shoe that came out was obviously the Metcon 4, the uh, XD and the 4. So they changed the upper on the 4 XD. But my personal favorite would be the Invictus 4. Some great details on it. I love the color, white and gray and black, obviously with the flex of green. The detail with the V on the rear, obviously the Invictus V, with the Invictus poem on the inside of the tongue. There is also a V on the inside of the grip just there, and obviously the green on the inside to show the Invictus family and a colorway. Unfortunately, the partnership dissolved not long after the Metcon 5. 
still a very collectible model. Uh, unfortunately, I parted ways with the one and two, also the five, and also the three I did. I also got rid of the three. But the four I got rid of, uh, sold it, got lost in the post, and managed to find these again in a charity shop and bought them back. Unfortunately, they changed the laces out. They put black laces on when they should be uh, looking green. So uh, I'm going to have to get some more laces. I spoke to the guys at Invictus threw at length with them whenever I was purchasing them. They were always very friendly on email. Never got a chance to meet them, unfortunately, as I've not been over to their box. But yeah, number four. Now we're getting to number five. So this is where it all changed. It started to get a little bit different. The leaked photos I put out didn't go down very well, but the uh, Matt Fraser 5 sold out super quick. The coveted model. The shoe itself, the upper completely changed. The Obviously the tooling was changed again as they normally do every other model. The sole was redesigned. But for me, the top colorway was this one. Cream Oxford Tan. I think it was moss green rear quarter. Neutral tone, sold out super quick. I released the photographs of it early and everybody just loved it. Shame it hasn't really been recreated in anything else. This Oxford Tan, a dark, rich brown and it matches really well with the cream upper. Mine's a little bit dirty, unfortunately. That is, without a doubt, a favorite of mine. Then we go to the six. The upper change became the most breathable Metcon yet, as they said. And throughout the model, they had a theme of travel bags, which was unusual considering that we were on lockdown the most of the time. But obviously these things were planned before the pandemic. They had a military rucksack one. They had a paisley kind of carrier one, which was uh, very garish. This one, which would have been based on a Louis Vuitton bag with the brown colorway and the gold on the back. Premium model, obviously, with the uh, leather inside. Lovely looking shoe. Obviously a darker kind of sole, similar to the Oxford Tan on the Metcon 5. This didn't really do it for me, this colorway. The sister one did. I can't remember what it is. It's a like pinky color. Again, subtle bar the flex of gold. These sold out very quickly. They were limited, even more so than the others. But I was lucky enough to get a pair from my man, Will Griffiths from Wit, who sold me his personal pair. So, you know, thanks very much for that, mate. I do appreciate it. And these will stay in the collection for a long time. I don't even think they'd be worn, to be fair. You can see the detail on the front. The upper on this is sick. It's insole, which you probably may not be able to see. The insole was all the same on these. I believe there's five different models. I've got three of them. Still looking for the silver pair and a decent priced military pair, so hit me up if you got it. Okay, then we reach model number seven. So the most current model with it due to be replaced in July or the summer with the Metcon 8. No leaks of that, they've kept it very close to the chest. I'm sure there's some test models out there which I've not seen yet. They seem to keep it quite quiet for me now just in case I start posting, which is fair enough. The Metcon 7, uh, I leaked it, didn't go down very well. People didn't like the changes. I thought the upper was awesome. When I first saw pictures of it, it reminded me of the original Flyknit 1. It came out, it was very Marmite, which is a UK Term, but you either loved it or you hated it. There's no in between. So it came out with uh, this, the rattan colorway. But not my favorite colorway, but just to show you the changes, they had a hyperlift insert built in. You can see on the back, some React foam was built into the sole. You had the lace lock and then the rope guard, which was probably the most controversial part of the shoe, but works so well. On a rope climb, you're not gonna find a better shoe than this, I don't, I don't think, personally. But, you know, all I ever wear is Metcon. This colorway came out, Rattan, beautiful shoe. The green, very kind of like Metcon nose similar. You may see that just on my shoulder there. Quite similar in that it had that kind of like green on the heel and the fly wire, kind of similar, kind of set up, great release, although not my favorite. My favorite being the made for sport. This was the first colorway I saw in the Metcon 7, and I was like, that's a hit straight away. Uses the kind of recycled sole, I believe it's called grind, it's supposed to be more beneficial for the environment, which is great, because I believe Nike should be going in that direction. And then it's got like the orange and the blue flex on there, and again, another neutral upper, as you know now, is my favorite. The laces on the European pairs came through as like a, a greeny blue. I believe the American ones have salmon laces, or like orange ones, which people weren't too happy about. They came out and it was a mistake that they had them, so you know, maybe even worth a little bit more. But these are reselling very highly at the moment, and there's some people asking $190, which it is what it is, you pay for what you like. As you'll find on my Facebook Marketplace page, Vault of Metcon, Add yourself now. But yeah, a great shoe. Not the best shoe in the world to run in. Too clunky on the heel. I'm a four foot runner. For people who heel strikers, it's not for you, but great to lift in, great to climb in, and that colorway just is, is beautiful. 
So there you have it, my favorite colorway from Metcon 1 all the way to the Metcon 7. You know the score, like and subscribe, and I will see you again in another video.